All right, our second game for the Friday free game feature, the real game, a ground. I'll have to try building a hut. Eight wood should suffice. Not bad for my first shelter. Eight wood and four berries. I might be able to make a decent storehouse. Take the stone axe if you're so gung-ho. Ah! Let's get the storehouse built. Now we can avoid getting tired out from carrying too much. Oh, level up. You have levels in this? That's kind of cool. I've been underground. There's way more to this place than meets the eye. I got an extra pickaxe if you want to check it out, too. So, yeah, very much like Minecraft now, isn't it? Honestly, I'm surprised anyone survived that crash, but here we are. So maybe others survived, too. How's the digging? Maybe we should build a smelter to melt down ores into bars. Oh, man, we're getting attacked. Oh, here we go. Bunch of coal. Oh, there's a chest. Open. Look at that. This is the stuff. I should have a smelter up in no time. Build the smelter. How about we build a barn and get a farm up and running? Put up the barn and plant some seeds. Build the farm. I bet you youngins are thinking this here's the end of the world. But I thought the same during World War III, and yet here we all are. Oh, we got some exposition. We got some story here. What do you think of building a kitchen? Meat is good, but it's even better cooked. Diamond was stolen from the storehouse. What? But a workshop to turn the metal bars into tools. Make one for five iron bars and five wood. Get the kitchen built. Bon appetit. You can cook food at the kitchen as long as you have wood or coal. A gold bar was stolen. What the hell? Oh god, we're gonna die. Run. Run. Yeah, we gotta hurry. We gotta get... Ooh, that was close. And he's gonna kill us. Nope, not today. Oh look, there's recipes here. We can make pie. We can make pancakes. Dude, we can make pancakes. Let's make a hamburger. Rusty axe? I don't think I want to put that iron in the storehouse. Somebody's been stealing. There's more to this planet than meets the eye. I've been doing experiments. I believe I've discovered magic. Need a materials? You come across a worm, slay it, and give me its dragon blood. I'll make you or make sure you're rewarded. Oh, is that an archer? Look at that. Hey, did you see me take down that boar? Deploy the element of surprise. Hit them from behind and you'll get a critical. Bows are the weapon of choice. Try out my workbench and you can make a bow and some arrows of your own. Uh, never killed an animal in my life before this. I was a scientist, lab work, molecules. Oh, wow, how'd you figure it all out then? It's amazing what you do when you need to survive. Oh, look at that. The axe, it looks like it needs repaired. They give you my old backpack. Oh, it'll come in handy. Use the workbench to make six fences. We can set up a perimeter. Boars can't run through fences. We can use them to protect the settlement. Ah, look at that. Oh, that was cool. I'm overweight. We knew that. No. Oh. Eating all that pie. Of course you're overweight. Get the workshop set up. We can make armor and swords. Oh, baby. Give me a new quest. You want to mine through stone to reach gold? You'll need to craft an iron pick or a steel pick. Thief was caught red-handed. What? 
It's hard enough surviving here without someone stealing our stuff. I might have borrowed a few things, but listen. I'll repay you by offering my services. I have connections with traders on other islands. Traders? There's more survivors out there? Yep. I'll need five gold to convince them to come here. Most of us were scattered across different islands. Some of the islands have more survivors and even more working tech and even some working technology. I even heard rumors of an island with a nearly nearly intact ship. As I said, all I've heard are rumors, but even if it could, it'd be certain death. Best to stay on this planet. Oh, you're like a rocket ship, baby. They don't seem to care about us here. Huh? Who's they? Who's they? Wait a minute. Steel sword. There we go. Hey, we can kill it. Got it. Secret, set up a laboratory immediately. Defense potion, HP potion, stamina, speed potion, endurance, ice arrow, yeti fur. Dude, there's yetis in here. Steel pick. Let's see if I can mine this. I can. Gold. That's what we were here for. It's time to do some smeltering. Smelting is for chumps. We do smeltering. That's the advanced. Steel armor. The hell is that? Oh my god, it's a dragon. It's a dragon. Look. Check it out. Oh, look, the Yeti. Dude, that thing will kill me. Look. Oh, my God. Look at the damage the Yeti does. We need to get the hell out of here. That's what we need to do. Okay, there's a dragon. Just see so it all know. There's a dragon. Ooh, what's that stuff? That redstone? Oh, it, it hurts. That's what it does. This is like a dungeon? Look at this. Enter. Let's find out what it is. Oh my god. Let's get out of there. There's like dungeons down here. Take this coin purse. You'll need it to store coins for buying and selling. I rec recommend buying a super pack as soon as you can. They're a real lifesaver. What this farm needs? Livestock. Capture some boars with the net from the market. I'll add a pen for two pigs and eight wood. Looks like you have everything I need. Let's get this kitchen upgraded. Cheese. Pizza. We can make pizza. <laughs> oh, two different recipes to make cheeseburger. They thought of everything there. Cake. Gotta have cake. There. We just had to wait. Collect pig. Milk and pigs. <laughs> Add a pen to the farm. With the pen, we can now produce meat and milk. Are you interested in seeing the rest of the world? How about building a dock? I'll build it for you if you give me 500 gold, 20 wood, 5 cloth, and 5 nets. Let's get the dock built. Distant shores, build the dock. Once you build a boat at the dock house, you'll be ready to travel across the sea. Oh my gosh. So, a ground. My thoughts on this game. Very, very positive. It's kind of a combination between Terraria, SteamWorld Dig, and Minecraft in a little, in, in various ways. It's a cr survival crafting game. In the case of Terraria and Minecraft and all those titles, you have to build things, of course, block by block. Whereas here, the structures are kind of pre-built. So there's not so much as far as building your own designs. That's not in here. But what is in here is they replace that with a lot more automation. Your NPCs go out and gather. Once you talk to them, they go out and start doing things. 
which is nice because you're still left to do things. You still have other quests and other things to progress the game. And you don't have to worry so much about the tedium. All the stuff that you've kind of already progressed past is now being done basically by the NPCs. Or they make it easier because of like a workshop or something like that. The amount of content in this game, even for how they streamlined it and made it shorter than most survival crafting games, is really high. We started out thinking, well, it's, you know, it's a small indie game. It won't be that large. We'll craft some things, and then that'll probably be it. It may not even be finished. We didn't finish it by any means. We have to build the boat. We had pets to tame. We found caves. There are yetis up in the hills that throwing, throwing snowballs or something at us. There was a big red dragon that we found. Yeah, there's tons more content. There's lots and lots and lots of content. Way more content than I expected. It's good. It's controller compatible. It runs with like an Xbox controller, straight up, no problems. The thought that went into this, the polish on this is really high, really well done. <laughs>